As you can very likely tell just by the title of the game, Ultimate Chicken Horse is a game that does not take itself seriously. With its cartoony style and silly animal characters, it's easy to glance over this game and miss out on something great. If you have at least two other people that you'd enjoy playing a game with locally or online, then I highly recommend you give this a try. The lobby of the game starts you out in a treehouse, with your currently unlocked levels scattered across the branches, and your adorable animals waiting for you to choose which one you'd like to play as. From here, you can invite your friends and modify the rules and game mode to your liking. Once you're set up, each of you climb up to whichever map you'd like to play to vote for it. And now you're in game! Depending on which game mode and setup you went with, things play a bit differently, but the basics stay the same. All players start in the indicated area, and in order to earn points towards winning, you must reach the red flag in the finish area. On many levels, it's not possible to reach the finish without placing any objects. In the typical party mode, at the beginning of each round, a box will pop up with an assortment of placeable goodies to choose from. Be fast, as the other people you're playing with can snatch up what you want before you do. Typically, you want to make the map possible for yourself to complete, while making it as difficult as possible as you can for the other players. Making it to the end first, collecting coins, or getting trap kills earn bonus points. There are several ways to customize this basic idea as well, with options like handicapping points for certain players to balance the match, or even crazy modifiers like giving bonus points to the player that reaches the flag last rather than first. As you play, you'll also unlock additional maps, which all have their own unique twists, such as a large sphinx that can crush you, or a bridge that slowly breaks each round as you jump across it. There's a solid variety of options here, and plenty will leave you and your friends with dozens or even hundreds of hours of fun. Gameplay First, you need to have some friends. Invite them to your game, and choose which game mode and map you'd like to play on. Then, spend the next 10 or 15 minutes laughing hysterically as you all watch your poor little animals run and jump in fear as you try to maneuver them through increasingly difficult obstacles. The game consists entirely of two-dimensional base platforming. There are no complicated mechanics and things to learn, other than just how your character moves and what each object does. New objects, maps, and characters are added somewhat regularly as well, keeping the game feeling nice and fresh. User Interface and Controls the UI has seen some improvement lately, but it's still not perfect. Some menus are a little confusing to navigate, and the screen for setting up a match looks a little daunting for a moment when you first open it. Everything seems to work properly from what I've seen, though. It's not difficult to get into a match and invite your friends, and choosing your character, map, and game rules while climbing around a treehouse is actually quite intuitive and fun. Controlling your character is familiar, and it feels responsive enough to accurately make those tight jumps to slip past 12 different hockey pucks and arrows. I enjoy playing on mouse and keyboard, but the game also has full controller support, along with allowing any keys to be rebound. Graphics The graphics are a simple, 2D, cartoony art style that plays well into the theme of the game. This game could have quickly become very dire and disturbing if it had gone for a more realistic art style. All of the animal and object animations are very cute and fun, and they do a good job of communicating what's dangerous or safe. As there is nothing 3D to render, you shouldn't need to adjust your settings too much, but you do have basic necessities such as resolution or window mode. Audio Immediately upon entering the main menu, the music gets your mind into the right place with its incredibly happy and bouncy soundtrack. Every animal has their own distinct, adorable noises that they make as they jump, or dance, or plummet to their demise. And traps and objects make very clear and consistent noises to let you know when imminent danger is approaching. Final thoughts. If you have a couple of friends to play with, this game is easily worth the price point. Ultimate Chicken Horse is the perfect game for the moments where you and your friends just want to laugh and have fun for 30 minutes, and don't want to play anything serious or hardcore. If you don't have a couple friends, I would definitely recommend staying away, as the game doesn't really have a matchmaking system, nor would it be anywhere near as fun without being able to screw around and just laugh with your friends. 